Hi, and welcome back to Warframe. Mm. That was a mission and a half. Yes, we're building a Corpus Void Key here. This is for the weekend, last weekend event. It's going to be last weekend because this will probably be up Monday or Tuesday. Oh, where's my picture gone? No, it shouldn't be that one. It should be the darker one. There we go. Jeez. Right, now what I would really like to do is these weapons, or even this weapon. But there's a problem there. Oh, my voice is gone. Let's go down to the blueprints and the pistols and... Oh, hang on. It's not there. And what about the new rifle? Oh, look, that's not there either. That just sucks. They bring out two new weapons and they don't... One of them, I could understand, but both of them, that's just greedy. So, I thought what we'll do is, because our Bratton is now fully leveled up, and I am in really being tempted on polarising it, I was thinking, before we get there, what we'll do is we'll build the Amphis. Now, the Amphis is a pole arm weapon, just like the... Oh, I forgot the name of the damn thing. Orthos. Orthos? Whatever. Anti Orthos Prime. But, you'll notice all this thing at the end. Basically, when you hit the ground from your jump attack, it does shock damage to any enemies around you, which makes it great against uh, the Corpus robots. Or just the Corpus in general. When they get when they start to surround you, you just use that. It should be good against the infested as well. I don't know. We haven't tried it. When we do try it, we will try an infested mission. But you need to buy the blueprint for fifteen thousand. I mean, look at the damage isn't that bad. It does the same. Actually, that is the same stats as the gram. It swings at one point three and it's got thirty damage, so it's not that bad actually. It uses two new roads, 500 salvage, 600 circuits, and 600 alloy plates. My voice is going on a minute today. It only takes 12 hours and costs 30 grand, so we'll set this off. It'll appear over here. And when it's done, obviously, we just come back and claim this. Jump in the arsenal. Okay, so once you've got it, obviously you've got to equip it with we did have a bit of a hiccup with the recording on this one so I did miss out on that I just went to check it and realized um, the gameplay footage is there but the equipping it isn't and I can't understand how because we come out of the foundry and it just stops but anyway uh, this is it I just unequipped it as well <laughs> It looks really nice, doesn't it? Now, it does have a polarity slot. And I quickly threw in Sudden Strike. That's all my PS in there. That will also take... Do, 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 where is it? Um, yeah, Molten Impact will also go in there. I'll shift that so you can actually see it. Because once you... As soon as you get a new weapon, uh, as soon as you get points on it, you can spend the arsenal thing, just like contacts is now, because contacts is flashing. Give it a second, there it goes. Arsenal does exactly the same thing, even if you unequip the weapon so you haven't got it on you, it's still telling you there's something in there, so I just threw a mod in there. Just to stop it from flashing, because we wanted to level up the, the Orthos Prime first. But it, visually, it does look a lot nicer than the Orthos Prime does. Because that is just a, a long pole with hooks on the end. This thing looks vicious. So, we'll jump into a... It's actually an infested mission. We'll jump into that. Let's see if we can see it in action. Okay. Um, bit of a, a loadout change. Now using Frost. But it's 
not really that much more effective against these guys. It does send them flying when you hit them with it, like a baseball bat. Is there actually somebody down here? Yes. Ground pound. Nah, the normal attack's much more effective. And you. It's actually not that bad, if I'm honest. It's, it looks better than the Orthos Prime. That shock effect makes it slightly better as well. And when you hit people with it, it sends them flying. Me likey. But then again, I'm a bit disappointed in the Orthos Prime, to be honest. It was a tad bit of a letdown. More enemies. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> it's nice seeing Frost back in his proper colours. He's missing the pink. All I've done is I've replaced the blue with green on his back. Oh, and the Vipers. The most overpowered thing I have ever built. On purpose. Because they were built for the Eris planet and the missions on there, so they are literally overpowered on purpose. I've killed so many frosts with them in the dojo, it's ridiculous. Come on enemies, where he is. I do like the, the baseball bat effect to it. I wish the ground pound did a little bit more damage, but it does what it's meant to, it electrifies them. But that is the main reason we built it. For the electrical damage. Hang on, what the hell am I doing? It's not an, an exterminate mission. God damn it. Uh, run. One thing I do miss about um, Nova, and that simply is the fact that when I run, I'm not running as fast. Hey guys, I'm over here. Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Electrified everybody. <laughs> Yeah. An electric thing to, it would go well with Volt. Him <laughs> being an electric uh, Warframe, electric based Warframe. I mean, yes, it does only do 30 damage, but it does swing faster than the Orthos Prime, so. But then again, the Orthos itself, the proper one, is better. And that was the shortest mission in the history of missions. What the hell? I can't get up because he's standing right up there. This will work. Why is that red? The energy colour is clearly orange. And that is clearly red. Nah, that's probably just the colours on my screen. Well, I missed. There we go. So yeah, against Corpus that would be really, really easy to do. Ow. I need one more. There we go. Any willing volunteers? Thank you. The block animation, I tested it. Uh, didn't do anything. I don't know if that's because the shooting thing wasn't working right or what. 
but uh, it wasn't doing the block animation at all. I think this could be one of those weapons I do will actually level all the way up. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that I haven't got any weapons I haven't leveled up, apart from the Orthos Prime. But that's only because we've just built it. It's only a few days old. That was a really short mission. Oh well. But yeah, the reason we got it is that on the floor. The ground pound. Sending out the electrical thing. I'm not sure, but with the reach mod, that might get bigger. But does it really need to be bigger than that? And I like the way it sends people flying when you whack them. And even though I used the pink colour, I'm still getting the blue swoosh marks of it. It is probably one of the the best visual weapons I've actually come across so far. Apart from the hate, or the Reaper Prime. Just because it's got all the dots and everything across it. And the, is it the Fragor, the big hammer. It looks the best. It has a nice ground pound effect to it. We need to actually see what the radius is. And it works. And I'm trying to reload my melee weapon. <laughs> but it does look really nice. It performs really well as well. I wouldn't say it's a replacement for the the Orthos. That's still definitely a more powerful weapon. But if you leveled this up right and put nothing but damage in it against at least the early Corbus missions. It would be a lot more fun, because when you whack them, you're going to send them flying. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>